Right now at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S7 for just $99.99 and get a second one free. Service agreement is required on both devices, serving you for the last 25 years with better service and bigger savings at today's Appalachian Wireless. As wildfires continue to burn thousands of acres across the region, more than 80 Kentucky counties now have complete burn bans. That means all outdoor burning is illegal. And those caught burning anything in one of those counties will be facing, at a minimum, a citation. And the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife is leading those enforcement efforts. Kentucky Fish and Wildlife officers will be assisting the Division of Forestry in any of the wildland fire investigations. All of our officers have been trained in wildland arson. Once a new fire is reported, crews with the Kentucky Division of Forestry respond. And in addition to being trained to control and extinguish the fires, they can also determine where they start. Once the forest rangers determine the origin, they will contact our officers with Fish and Wildlife and we get on the scene. We will begin our investigation just like any other investigation. Fish and Wildlife officers are operating on a zero tolerance policy and they're writing citations to anyone caught burning anything outside, whether it started a wildfire or not. It is a very important part of what we're doing right now as far as the enforcement. Uh, I would estimate anywhere during this week alone we've maybe issued around 30 citations for burning ban violations. Sergeant Sloan said while most situations can be handled by writing a citation, they are discovering some fires are being set intentionally. If we do make a case on wildland arson, we will make an arrest and prosecute them to the fullest extent of the law. Recently, arrests have been made in McCreary, Harlan, and Letcher counties, and hundreds of citations have been written. And enforcement efforts will continue until the burning bans have been lifted. Reporting in Floyd County for EKB News, I'm Shannon Deskins.